I hit continue. What does that mean? It means I don't want to leave the meeting. I'm given the opportunity if it's being recorded to actually leave. Ooh. But we're recording for all of you out there. Welcome! Episode 26. And this is an exciting one because we are going to announce our winner for our 3,000 subscriber, episode 25, amazing Page the Framer giveaway. We got a lot of entries. Did we? Oh my gosh, that was my, you know, I'll be honest. I haven't even been over there to look. I meant to do it this morning. And I'm so happy because... Yeah. It's so generous. It's so amazing. And Paige is going to pop in, right? Yep. She's going to pop in and maybe it'll, it'll just happen when you least expect it. Everyone. Yeah. She's just going to show up and then we'll shift to that. Is that yep. what we're going to do? Yeah. I think let's try it. If we don't, then this will, I'll edit. Okay. But ideally it won't be a problem. It'll be fun. But yes, we had a lot of people um, that used the word page to join in this giveaway and a lot of love for Paige, of course. Of course. Isn't she amazing, you guys? We love our Paige. We and she love does her. beautiful work. Oh, she does. Her work is is through the off the charts. Um, I am just so glad that you thought of having her on. I think we've talked about it, but then you just decided last time, and I was like, <laughs> yes, because I feel like it makes such a difference when you meet the person that you're handing your priceless, precious project over to. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. And she'll, uh, we'll, we'll announce the winner when she gets here and she'll share with you, you know, probably ex exactly how it's going to work. Yes. But, yes. She's uh, on her way to her shop. She lives in the, on the, Jer in, on the Jersey shore. Yeah. She's hitting summer traffic, which, I like you hear Jersey Shore and then you see Paige and they don't even go together. But I think I also have a television version of Me too. Jersey Shore. <laughs> and and I know I've been down there and Dave spent time while I was there at um oh what's the name of the park where Bruce Springsteen whatever he was yeah. there it was beautiful. Is it Ocean City or? No. I don't yeah. know my Jersey. I don't either. And I should. And I'm embarrassed that I don't because I know it. But we need to have Paige it. give us a tour of the Jersey Shore. The Jersey way Shore. she actually used to do knit, uh, on the, yeah. knitting on the shore every on summer. And it looked like they were the only ones on the beach. I'm picturing like all these muscle men with greased back well, hair and. <laughs> Well, what I think about is all my friends that I know on the Jersey Shore are the most down to earth, normal people. Like, and I, a handful of, I know more than a handful because there are a lot of our customers mm -hmm. through Paige and I've yes. spent time down there and oh my gosh. Anyway. Yeah. Anyway, so that's exciting. So we've got that coming. But in the meantime, I, we have a bit of cross stitch we want to share with you. I've got some punch needle, a little bit of sewing, and a fun um, sort of a sewing project that I want to just share where I'm at with. And I do have some acquisitions. Okay, so I have something that's going to blow your mind. Really? that I have questions about that will show. Um, and I have two finished objects. I will tell you, I have not, we've been gone, has it been more than two weeks? I feel like we've gone farther. Three. Three, okay. I really feel like, which doesn't, won't look like this, but I've kind of lost my stitching mojo a little and I'm struggling getting it back. And I'm hoping this does it. But all of a sudden, I'm knitting a ton again. It, it's so funny how our, and for me, a lot of it is hand motion and what I'm knitting on takes no thought whatsoever. So mm -hmm. that's another piece of it. So, but yeah, so I don't have any acquisitions. I wish I did, because mm -hmm. that would motivate me. Well, you have some coming from me. I just put them in the mail yesterday. So excited. I know. I'm excited. We'll, for you we'll talk that. about that because we need a shop update for you for sure. Yeah, I do have a few things that I want to share because I, yes, definitely. Yeah. Um, yeah. Awesome. Yeah, let's get started. Okay. Shall we? Yes. <laughs> okay, so 
cross stitch really i mean i like i said i've been doing so many different things that the only thing that i did now while we were away the last three weeks i spent a week up in northport michigan on the beach at my friend's lake house and i've also been to green bay wisconsin since we last talked and spent a long weekend there so i really just wanted to take something that i could just I didn't need a hoop. I could just stitch when I felt like it. So I brought my flea market flowers. Oh, and I got a little bit. Oops, it's upside down. You got down. a lot done. I did actually, right? That's a lot. Yeah, you did. That's that's a perfect choice for that. Oh, no. oh, oh you're gone. <laughs> so this is Paige in the winter, or Rachel in the winter time with a winter sweater on. There you are. <laughs> you know what? If I hit my thing a certain way, it makes, I need a better camera. All right. But that is a perfect, perfect on the go project. It really is. It's very redundant. I have to admit, I'm getting a little tired of petals. <laughs> Making I was, color petals. I was too, but can I tell you, as I'm looking at this, I missed the stitch. It was a really, really wonderful stitch. Absolutely. I've just been working my, my way around. And once I got to the bottom, then I felt comfortable linking up all of the boxes. So now I just have to fill in boxes. Super impressed that your boxes all exist. You know, That's and everything not an easy feat. I love this fabric. I know it's, it's 25 count. It's Lori Holtz, 25 count. That's the called for the one she used in the model for the project for the design. And it's, it's bigger count. That's another thing. I wanted a bigger count piece to take with that. I didn't need amazing light or more than my reading glasses. You know, so. I think that's part of my problem right now. I, what I did finish was very large count and now I'm trying to transition back to small. Mm -hmm. And I keep making mistakes and I'm frustrated. And, and there is a transition when you go from, for me at least, from the bigger count to the smaller. It's, it's an eye thing. I really think this, especially this 25 count Lugana by Lori Holt or any 25 count Lugana, I guess, is easier than 14 count Ada. Oh, yeah. For Ada, easier. for some reason, if I'm on Ada, I have a problem. I always oh. go in between the holes. And I'm, I'm using a 20 count Ada right now that I think I'm going to throw the towel in for that project, which we can talk about another time. But this, if you're, you know, relatively new, if you're a knitter that just joined us uh, because you knew us from the knitting world, I would highly recommend Lori Holt's 25 count Lugana. And it, it feel, it's Zweigert. It's not Wichelt, which Wichelt's really stiff. This feels so good in hand. You just have a really nice experience. When I owned my shop, that was, if I had a brand new stitcher come in, I would start them on the 25 count Lugana. It was it my favorite. I could stitch like a bandit on that stuff. Like I was crazy fast. Yeah. That and the 28 count Cashel yeah. were my two go-to for most of my stitching career. And then I would also do like the um is it raw linen no that's i'm not saying that right maybe raw linen yeah there's a raw linen maybe i did work on linen but those for the real for the for exactly what Lori used it for like the whimsical the i just loved it yeah. there's absolutely nothing wrong with it it's fantastic i mean i want to say i love 36 count i like it but I, it'll, I'll be curious after working on this for a few weeks and stitching in hand, doing the sewing method. Now I got to go back and try the sewing method on my 36 count and see if it's easier for me. I think you'll be fine with it. I do. Boy, now you're making me want to work on that. Yeah, but you'll be fine with it. The thing with the Cashel and the Lugana, the threads are so round. Do you find that? Yeah. Like they're is not what flat. It is? They're round. And there's something about the clarity they're they're an even weave which means every thread is exactly yeah and it, the the feeling of poking and pulling through is so much silkier and i, I, I you know this is not 100 percent linen it's cotton and a little rayon i think or something like that and yeah. it's it's wonderful i, it I is love wonderful. it so this project i truly is i've loved it and it's it's taken me a while i mean it's not a little project 
it's not a little project and it's funny because I got tired of it yeah by the end I was like I just want to finish but looking at yours it really makes me realize how much I loved it and I kind of miss it yeah oh yeah I love it yep great project so that really was my main cross stitch okay so I will show you three things at once because I oh wait did I hold on I can't wait for you to blow my mind. Oh, this isn't that. Oh, okay. Oh, no, no, no. You have no clue what that other thing is. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so here's a finish. And this was a cheap finish because I had already finished it and I had put Charlie's name up here. But then we realized that I made the same one for Lily. And in my heart, I just wanted them to have different stockings so badly. Yes. So this is for our sweet little Sophia, who is my <laughs> great niece. And that's a shepherd's bush shepherd's stocking. Bush. This is, I have them all. I say that. Thank you. This is the Mary stocking. Mary. One of the originals, if I remember, like I have a lot of the originals. Mm -hmm. So I love it. So for quite a few people for wedding gifts, I give them these stockings and then I try, I'm very behind and I don't know if it's possible. I try to, when they have babies to make. Oh, so you're not giving them stockings for their future babies. No, no, no. (laughs) Teasing. I'm teasing. (laughs) You know what? I'm so at the point where you could say anything and I would be like, oh, uh-huh, I don't uh-huh. but anyway, so this is for Sophia. So this is in the pile to get finished my finisher. And then I did Charlie's. In three weeks since we've been gone? No, one week. I can make these in one week. Oh, oh I love that dress. I do Oh, too. that's so cute. <laughs> so cute it still needs the um all the embellishments just came um so this is the martha stocking i believe this is one of the newest the embellishments make quite a difference now i stitched this in a week because there's a lot less stitching on here it's a big count too if i recall oh it's the 20 25 or no 22 maybe yeah I forgot. I should know. Do you it. hold three? Say that again. Do you hold three together? Three plus? Nope, it's all the pearl cotton size five. Oh. Which makes it fly. They fly. So Charlie is done. She needs to be ironed and charms put on. But again, the one week, there's a lot less stitching on that one. Mm-hmm. There really, really is. Mm-hmm. And it's so much faster when you're used to um working on the finer linens yes and now so this is for sophia's brother who's actually older than sophia this is for little frankie oh. and it's gonna have a train down here i'll show you oh my gosh how cute you're I making know. me really like those i never got into them a few years ago when i first started but now i'm just thinking they're adorable you know what oh, i that's so cute. i love them i'm starting to be more attracted to the newer ones they're a little funkier like so i kind of want to make them for dave and i like i can't oh, believe i don't have them yeah granny so, and grandpa need one i maybe i'll put grammy and grampy on it yeah grammy and Gra- you should i think i'm gonna because then you can pass it to chelsea and it'll yes. make sense for them. i love that thank you for that idea so this is going to be for grampy I love it. That's so cute. Parker. I think this is a newer one. You can tell because these are $10 and those were five. Wow. Yeah. They should be $10. And Martha. So these are the two. Unless my friend has a ton of these. My shop hasn't been having them and we do a lot of swapping. Granny and Grampy. I love that. That makes me want to start right now. I think you should, Grammy. Yes, that's so cute. We've got from, oh, I'm all set. Tell her we're, I'll tell her. You keep talking. Okay. So really that is, I have one more stitching project that I worked on. And again, I'm really struggling with my mojo. Oh, I have two more that I worked on. (laughs) There's no mojo struggle. (laughs) You know what it is? It's very new. It's very new. 
it's not like I've been this way for weeks. Um, and it's a mass like, but look how sweet. Oh, I love that one. Oh, I love her shoes. I say that every time. I know. I feel like I got quite a bit more done on this. You did under the boo. Yeah, I did all of that. And I think I finished her dress. I did the broom. Really enjoying it. Have no idea the count. I think it's, I think it's 40. It's pretty small. And that is Brenda Gervais, I think, right? Yep. So unorganized. I also want to get her new ones. Did you get them? Maybe. <laughs> oh, I want them. My shop wasn't getting them. I got lucky, but I'll share. I'll... I want to know where because I want them. Are you going to carry them? I, I mean, Brenda Gervais, I think you have to be, I don't know. I haven't contacted her. You have to work with her directly. So yeah. maybe I should get on her auto ship. Yes. Once I, I don't okay. know, we can talk. So about I them. was in a Halloween mood. This is all I have. So this is, except for my huge, unbelievable thing. You uh, know, when you preface something with that, blow I, your mind, you know how that. <laughs> I worked on this and I did work quite a bit, right? Why am I not starting that one? I don't Probably know. Probably because, because I have all these. <laughs> I know, but it is so fun. So this is, I feel like this is one of those like underappreciated charts, right? Mm -hmm. Like it's so fantastic mm -hmm. that I don't know what it is. Oh, here it is. I'm glad you have it. You are organized today. I am. Oh my. Did you maybe get like an assistant or something? I did actually. <laughs> you know no, what it's it not is? me. I want I, your assistant. Oh, I wish it. Oh, should I let Paige in? Tell her I'm going to show one more thing. Okay. Just because it's on the Halloween spectrum. Yeah. So in, in losing my mojo and wanting to pick up stitching, I keep grabbing at all different things and nothing is settling. Mm -hmm. But I went back to last night. I, I forgot went, all about this quilt. I didn't. It's on my mind so much. Okay. So this is. Oh, yeah. Crab Apple Studio, Hocus Pocus. Look at, see, this is what an assistant does for you. It, they clear your brain out. They clear your brain that out. That is incredible. This That's is going to be so cool. So cool. So we'll talk. And you know what? I do want to talk about the assistant. But let's like page in. Okay. Should be like. So up? this will be our, our, oh, there's fun page. Fun page. Okay, I'll see you in a jiffy. Uh-oh. Right. She's connecting to audio. Okay, there so she is, folks. You're live is. with Sue and Rachel. <laughs> I feel like live. Oh, I can't hear you. Maybe I'll have to edit some. Oh, there you are. Okay, now I can hear you. Say hi hear you. to our listeners, Paige. Wait. I, oh, We're my live. God. We're I'm live. Such a, I'm such a dork. <laughs> Will agree. <laughs> For those of you who have not listened to our last episode, this is oh. our page, Paige the Framer. Hi, guys. Hi, welcome. China, let me just, oh, sorry, I'm sorry. Just just <laughs> ignore me. Like, go about your business. Okay. And I'm picking up a third of the screen. In. It's hard to ignore you when you're a third of the screen page. <laughs> yeah, and you've got all those frames behind you. Oh, I know, right? Aren't they good? Oh my gosh. So Paige, how was your drive in to work with the summer Josie traffic? Uh, it was nuts. So in the summertime, can you see me? Yeah. In the summertime? Just maybe I stop see. moving. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That's what um, so in the summertime when I'm driving to work, I literally will see more cars that are not local that I see local. Do you know what I mean? Like they're all from out of state. So today I think I probably saw about five or six different license plates, you know, multiple times, but like tons of New York, tons of Pennsylvania, Michigan, Florida, Vermont. Mm -hmm. no Connecticut this time. So we are talking about how you live on the Jersey shore and how like, your personality is not the Jersey Shore, and we can't figure that out. But then I thought of all our New Jersey friends, which are all your friends, 
they're all like you. Like, I feel like there's a misrepresentation of the Jersey Shore. There definitely is. The representation that you guys know is actually people who don't live here. Like, yeah. there, that, that TV show that made it famous, none of those people live here. So those aren't these people. It's just, eh, whatever. It's so funny. Okay, so then clear up one thing. What is the name of the park that Dave Stokes went to when we were there? The Bruce Springsteen. Why do I want to say Ashbury Park? Oh, Asbury Park. Yeah. Asbury. Okay. It's a town, not a park. <laughs> yeah. I was going to say, I wasn't really referring to a park. I think of the shoreline for that. Yeah, As Asbury Park. Yes. And that's about 30 minutes north of my shop, but 10 minutes east of my house. Yeah. You do live in a beautiful place. It's pretty nice. It's hectic right now. All right. Well, let's get down to business because you have a business to run and so do we. That sounded so... Okay. So, Sue, that was a good transition. <laughs> so, Paige, you had so many people give so much love to you on our comment section. The key word was Paige, but they didn't have to say, Paige is an amazing human being and we love Paige and all that stuff. They could have just said, Paige. <laughs> I'm <laughs> done with it. for free. <laughs> They uh, said, if they had said Paige is a dork, I would have been like, that person wins. <laughs> yeah, because they know me. <laughs> no, Paige is, Paige is amazing. So Paige has offered up framing services um, for our giveaway, for her 3,000 subscriber giveaway. And we did a random shuffle online. And the winner is KT. Now, this is never going to show up because I always have this issue. No, it's so hard to see. Oh, we can kind of see it. Oh, it was. Yeah. I'll put, a, I'll put the drawing in, in here, too, as well, a picture. But it's a K, K-A-Y-T-E-E. -E. And she mm -hmm. said, what a lovely episode. It was so nice to meet Paige. And wow, what a generous giveaway. And we agree with that, Paige. <sighs> so good. <sighs> Yeah. So cool. So I will, um, Katie, when you get this, when you watch this, would you please um, maybe directly go to you, Paige, huh? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Paige the framer at gmail.com. Okay. I'll put that in the description box below. So, Katie, give her a little shout out. I cannot yeah. wait to see what she's having framed, how she framed. I cannot wait to see any of it. I know. Yeah. Me too. Maybe? Maybe she'll be okay with doing a little video and I could like, you know, like I did on my other. That would be super cool. Could we show it on our channel too? Sure. Or send the link. I feel like at that point that I'm just taking over your channel. This is too <laughs> <laughs> Well, what you do is such a big portion of what we do on our end to make our projects sing. So I, agree. I think it makes sense. Do we know where KT lives? Um... <laughs> Probably no. Point Pleasant, New Jersey. <laughs> that would be hilarious. I, I don't see any info. You know how YouTube never gives much info. I know. Let me oh. see if I can find her while you guys are talking on Instagram. Maybe she has the same handle. Sometimes. I'm so excited for her. Yeah, I am too. I hope I hope it's a, a good experience for her. Oh my gosh. Speaking of all this cross stitch, um, I have one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven cross stitches came in this week already. <laughs> wow. You're like, stop talking about me right now. Just stop spreading the word. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> you well, need an assistant. <laughs> I feel like, you know how on the back of my picture frame, I put my frame and fiber sticker. You guys should give me a floss toss sticker so I can put it. No, it's wow. easy to share about you, Paige, for mm -hmm. sure. Now, we did have a lot of questions at, because we asked people for, for framing questions. So we're going to compile those questions and get them off to you, Paige. And then yeah. maybe if you want to do a video, um, we can go ahead and link our subscribers to that video when it's done. Yeah, I'll definitely do that. I would love to. Was there uh, a lot of questions, Rach? I knew you were going to ask. I that. feel like there. when I looked, I looked like a week or so ago and I didn't actually read through because at that point there was like 190 some odd qu or comments. I was like, yeah. oh, I don't have time. I'll do it later. Yeah. 
Um, like, yeah, there were, I would say, 10 plus questions. Oh, nice. That would so, be a nice, nice amount of for a video. Yeah, yeah. So that's what I was thinking. So why don't we just go ahead and do that? There weren't any questions that were very redundant. They were all pretty oh, different. Oh, God. Which is... Maybe that'll be one of my vacation chores. I'm going to Lake George next week. So maybe I will, you know, make that part of my vacation, answering questions. Not doing the video, uh, doing the questions. Only if it's something that sounds fun to you. You guys are both lake vacationers. And my dream is to live on a lake. And I never go to a lake. I don't have oh. a lake to go to. I love lake. Lake house retreat. I'm always coming up with <laughs> retreat ideas and never oh, implementing I know. them. I, I will rent us the house on Lake George, friends. Like, I, I, will, I will do all that work because holy mackerel, do I love that place. <laughs> we went when the kids were little. My family had, I don't know if they still lived there. My dad had a very good friend who lived on Lake George. My dad was a barbershop singer and it was one of his quartet. Oh, my, God. Up to you. oh my God. He was not a barbershop singer. They were like, like national champions. Oh my gosh. So good. Yeah. Haven't I told the story where he, my dad would ask me to please never sing in public because. going to say sing us a tune. Oh, Sue. I have the worst voice in the world. The only thing I have in common is I have a very deep voice. Like he was the bass and I have that same voice. That is so cool. But it was so cool. So we, one year when the kids were little, decided to rent a house on his property. It was so fun. And then three of my nieces and my mom and dad came and joined and they stayed in the main house. I oh think my nieces might have stayed with us because the kids were all together. It was, I love lakes. Yep. I love lakes. There's yep. just, I just recently, sorry, then I'll get off this tangent, but I just recently rewatched on Golden Pond. That hit every not. emotion. You've never seen it. I don't think I have either. I've seen snippets. Thank God. Thank God. You know? <laughs> I what was too you young know? when it came out. No. Okay. So go watch it today. Henry Fonda, Jane Fonda, and Catherine Hepburn. I know my mom loved it. Oh my gosh. Just all of the lake scenes that brings out. And then honestly, I used to vacation on a lake when we were little. That's like 20 minutes away. In a cabin that was probably the size of this room. I am not kidding you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, so I don't like I don't like little lakes. That's why I like they have to be big, <laughs> big yeah, and deep. <laughs> I don't big like deep and weeds. sandy bottom. Yeah, no weeds touching yeah. my legs. No, no, yeah, no. no, 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 no. But yeah, that's my lake story. But oh my gosh, if anyone's watching, that would be impossible that they hadn't seen on Golden Pond. Like you two are probably the only humans that have not <laughs> seen it. So get on that this weekend and send me a note. And if you have a lake house that you'd like to donate to Floss Toss for a long weekend. We're there. We're there. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh, oh God. God. Well, Paige, is there any of uh, anything else you want to share with us what you're doing today? No, I mean, I would I'm just I'm excited to frame for Katie. Yay. Hey, Katie. <laughs> That's what I thought of, you know, inside number one, two, three, I always called her KT. You did. That's what I thought of. I was like, and she is a stitcher, but that wasn't her. That would be funny. It did. It wasn't her picture. That would be so fun though. But anyway, thank you for joining us, Paige. You're welcome, friend. Um, thank well, you. Yeah, I thanks don't even for in the middle of a recording. We just say goodbye. Oh, okay. And you then get rid of you. Yeah, but we can you're still out. chat if you're you done. want. <laughs> okay, bye, Paige. That was a panic. Oh, we had to we had to leave you for a second and now we're recording again. So okay. that was fun to see Paige and Katie. You are the winner. No, that's so exciting. Oh my gosh, I can't even imagine. I think if I was the winner in this situation, it would make my day. What would you pick to get framed? I have no clue. Probably, oh. it would probably be one of the flea market or the prim. Oh, yes. Probably get one of those. Yeah, it would make me want to finish quick. It would make me want to finish like that witch's one because I already mm -hmm. see the frame in my head for that. Oh, one. the. 
the one you just showed. Yeah. yeah. That would be fun. I know. Oh, good, good. Okay, so we, let's get back to our cross stitch. Okay, I showed all of mine. Okay, and we are officially starting in August our Fill Your Dough Bowl sale. Is that what's in the mail? Possibly. <laughs> yeah, it is. It is. So I am so excited. I found this pattern and I died. I saw this pattern online for Fill Your Dough Bowl. I had to get it. I don't know how well it's going to show up here. Oh, it shows up pretty well. I... Aren't they fun and whimsical? I, it's so me. Yeah, yeah it's, I, it's who I want to be. <laughs> it, <laughs> it is by an Italian designer. I can't say the Italian, but I Googled it, and it means heart and heartbeat creations of cross stitch is the design oh. company. And this is, I can't say what it's called, say Personaggi in Cerca di Halloween, which is the people of Halloween. So you can see it's some witches and maybe some wizards and just oh, this cute little devil lady. And I absolutely love that owl in the middle the ghost is holding, oh. the bottom middle. It's like a Dracula owl. <laughs> There's so that. much detail to this one. So I put these in my shop. I had to order a bunch and kit them up. It's all DMC, which is incredible. I love that. Um, and I've kit them up with the called for fabric, which happens to be a Zweigert cream, which they coffee dyed on their own. And they, um, they say that on the pattern. So it's up to you if you want to coffee or tea dye them. I might have to do that. I love And so for people that don't know how to do it, I know Chelsea and Priscilla did a video. Oh, good point. On coffee tea dyeing. And the only thing that I, which was really not smart of me that I didn't realize is it does shrink the holes a little bit. So it makes oh. a little small, not a ton. And, and I did Monaco, which is a whole different fiber. So maybe the linen won't. Well, this is what I tried out because I like to try things out for you all. And if I fail miserably, then it's on my fabric, but this is the fabric. It's just a plain cream Zweigert that you get in my kit or that you possibly have. And I thought, well, why don't I try this antiquing spray? Oh, I wish I had some of that. Now, I don't know how color fast this is. So I want to go on their website. This is the instant antique by primitive gatherings. So I'll go on the primitive gathering site see what they have to say. I took out my piece of, remember it's this cream color. And I, <laughs> look at the splotches though. I was too close when I sprayed there. So I'm learning. And here's, this is a little better, but I mean, I think if you make them small and have that blotch in the corner or something, it would be well, fine, but this you know is what, what I, I also did. think? So do, do more blotches. Yeah. Like put some to almost unite them in a way, you know, some lighter, some darker. Like I would yeah. just do more, I think. Ignore the circle blotches, but you know, look above mm -hmm. in those areas. I think that'll be perfect. Yeah. And I actually crunched this all up too. And I just sprayed and that's when the circles came because I was too close to, I should have sprayed from out here when I'm I far got away. crunched up. But yeah, yeah. So I'm going to try that. I'm going to, like I said, see what I have to do to make it color fast. It might be heating it up. I don't know. I cannot wait to start those. I'm so excited. So I do have kits in my shop, which have the, I mean, look at these colors. Oh, and you'll see a better representation on my site, but I mean, they're just oh. beautiful. There's so much fun. fun colors. So much fun. And I am going to, so I have, oh shoot, where are all my things of yours? I thought they were all in here. Cause I have, don't I have? Yes. You've got the floss tags. I have them in um, witches hats and cauldrons. That's and what right I'm going to I have none in the shop, but that's next on my list to make yeah. some of those as well. I'm going to do that. I cannot wait. Once yeah, so this is a 36 count fabric. If you do it on 36 count, it's like three by five. If you do it on a 28 count, 
it was like uh, a little under four by six, I believe, which is still a nice yeah. size pillow. This, these would make really cute ornaments too for a Halloween tree. I know. Like, so are you going to, how are you going to finish yours? I think I'm doing pillows because I want to fill my dough bowl. So like that pillows, or are you going to use like the walnut shells, which I want to use on some. Yeah, pillows. I have walnut shells. I want them to be heavier. You know. Okay, so maybe we can finish them together, zooming yeah. because I'm not good at that, and I want yeah. to be able to do it. We should definitely do that, and I'll do it the Lori Holt way. She has a great tutorial about how she makes her pillows on her website. I'm just going to do it that way, where she finds a contrasting color or a fabric for the back, sews a quarter inch seam, flips it inside out, but she, and then she just cuts a hole in the center back, and then I might maybe I'll cut out a bat or cut out like a and cover it and cover it with felt I think I could do that yeah I think that would be fun I, think I don't I know how many I'll get done I might just do a couple of these this year because I'll segue into my little trip to Green Bay there's a really nice stitch shop up there I'll put a picture here of the stitch shop it's called the stitching bee and it's this cute little house. It's jam-packed with tons, tons, tons. Now, why is that not focusing? I don't know what I'm doing. I feel like put your hand behind it, maybe. It's focusing, maybe. I don't Get know. Get rid of my face. Yeah. It's the Stitching Bee in Green yes. Bay, Wisconsin. And they just had received their package of the new pillows. And she wasn't, she only had them for people who pre-ordered, but she had a few extra. And I told her that I have a floss toss and, you know, I just, Aww. so we talked and maybe she liked me a little bit and let me buy if one. you I really don't know. hold it really close up so I can see the actual, oh my gosh, they're so cute. I know. Oh, I love Halloween. Oh, I didn't know there was more on the back. I love Halloween. Yeah. So these will have to be in the dough bowl as well. And I think I might just do these on, um, let's see, it calls for, these are one and three eighths wide by two and a half inch They're height. Tiny. Well, that, that one is, they're all different. Um, they're all different sizes. The one I just looked at is a little. I like much. the let's, idea of different sizes. I do too. I do too. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I probably will oh, just do it on flax, beautiful. color linen, or I don't know. But I'm excited about that. So, yeah, so I've got some things for my pillow. I went to Hobby Lobby yesterday, too. And let me tell you, there are a lot of fillers for our bowls as well, our dull bowls. Right they have cute little acorns. And they had some really neat... Um, wire baskets instead of using a dough bowl when you use the wire basket you can see the whole pillow which is kind I of I love wire basket nice too so but lots of little doohickeys to put in our <laughs> it makes me like so excited for the fall like that's my favorite part of summer is being excited for the fall is that really weird like floating in my Maybe. pool dreaming about like oh it's gonna be fall soon can I show you what's going to come into my shop once fall hits or maybe sooner? Darn it. Everything you put in, I want. Everything. I got on a little, I mean, I had to continue to fill my dough bowl. <sighs> so I got the Christmas version too. Oh, okay, I want that too. Darn it. I know. So cute. So cute. So that's going in. And I've also been toying with getting um hello from liz matthews you know how she does those trees you can either do yeah. the tree or the the square version mm -hmm. i'm toying with the idea of kidding those up and kind of being on an auto ship with her because i think they're beautiful and good morning george <laughs> i watched her whole video on those trees a long time ago i think right before market what do you need for the tree part i can't remember she has a, a glass antique frog and she puts a real stick in and then she, the, you cross stitch the triangle pillow. I remember now. And put it on top. Oh. Yeah. So. Darn it. Exciting. There are hours in the day. There aren't. I know. Exactly. Now I don't know why this 
little red thread is just hanging out here. Must be for the. Yeah. The other um, idea for our dough bowls. Speaking of Lori Holt, oh, these I are so that. cute. They're so cute. I have these in my shop. This is her stitch card F, and I have the floss and the fabric. So if you're interested in that, go check that out as well. And again, go to her tutorial if you want to learn how to. I'm going to do that because that sounds very manageable. I need to start gathering Halloween fabric. Yes. And I was, oh, I think I was watching Elizabeth Ann from Stitch and she just got like, she ordered it twice by accident. And oh. it was, she's so talented. She's she so is. Talented. Mm -hmm. Um, that fabric was gorgeous, but I need to get it for this quilt. Yeah. I yeah. had not one second. I haven't even looked at my beautiful machine. It's killing me. Yeah. Well, you've been doing other stuff. I also got two blackbirds when I was up there that they had. I got the Those bells. Really good on ones. Christmas day. These are really good ones. And then I've always wanted to do this house here for Sweet Land of Liberty. So beautiful. Yeah. So I got those two as well. So oh, such sad news about Blackbird Alma. Oh boy, that was Barb. such bad news. Yeah. For Alma, I feel bad for Alma. Yeah, I do too. It just she just I don't think even in my needlework designing days I ever met her. I can't rem I'm pretty sure I didn't. She just sounded like an amazing human being. Just everything I heard of all the tributes people are doing and yeah. I can't I can't imagine her family but I also can't imagine her partner because partnerships are extremely difficult they're one of the hardest things in the world like a true partnership like they had mm -hmm. and by everything that I've heard it was just an amazing partnership and that does not happen very often. Mm -hmm. It yeah. really, really doesn't. I've tried in my day. It's a very difficult dynamic. It's another marriage, basically. Yeah. Yeah. And boy, do they sound like they were just amazing together. Yeah. They were as far as their talent. We know that. Yeah. But, um, but there's so much more to it than that. And, yeah. Wow. I mean, they ran so many retreats together that they had to have gotten along so well and just knew how to work together so well. Yeah. I did pick up, <coughs> I was toying with the idea of carrying this book for the fall and possibly um, kidding up the one that I absolutely love and I've wanted to do for so long is this Mighty Oak. Oh. You know, it's the Mighty Oaks from Little Acorns Grow. I think that's so, so I've never so, seen it. Yeah, I just think that's so pretty. Mm -hmm. And it says it's designed and stitched by Barb Adams. So this was oh, completely nice. done by her. So I think, I don't know how people would feel. I mean, this is a pricey book, but if I had the book and a kit for just one item in the book, if that would be a nice thing for people. Yeah, the books are pricey, but A, they're incredibly hard to find, I think. At this is the newer one from maybe last yeah. year. Yeah, and the, I mean, I think I have the sewing club one. That's the only one I have. And mm -hmm. Every design is beautiful, and I would choose to do every design. Boy, I loved, I watched, maybe it was Carol Saltbox Stitcher, her uh, quilting Blackbird books that incorporated their stitching with their quilts. Mm -hmm. I, I would love to do that at some point, a small quilt hanging. Mm -hmm. that would be so cool i know i agree well stitching wise i think remember i have those kits I, you know what i also i have a few kits left of a lot of things so check out in there if you want to do flea market flowers if you want to do let love abide um, well i noticed and i didn't grab it because i'm like oh should i shouldn't i the barbara Oh, um, all things great and small. Yes. Yes, that's in there too. That's a big one. That's a big. I know. I kept looking at it, going, "Oh, should I someday?" I could make up my mind because I love it so much. But I have so many huge projects that I've got yeah. to start. It'll be there. It's I know. I was gonna there. say 
it'll be there. Yeah, and I should be hopefully the new fall issue of Primitive. Yes. I hopefully that one will be out soon. I would think it would be. I would think so. August, maybe. I would think so. Oh yeah. my gosh. Okay. Well, can I share a finished object, or do you want to? When am I going to get my mind blown? You want to do it now? Yes. I'm not kidding I, you. I'm like, what is? What can this? I'm so clueless. Okay, so red and white. Keep that in mind. <gasps> no. What's that? <gasps> is that from your mother? Hold on. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Look at the date. What the heck? It's my, so I have to ask my mom. We're terrible at the family tree. I have a lot of questions around this. Um, all hand done. It's Look at the phenomenal. Curves. I remember finding this was always on my mom's bed when I was young. And <sighs> it hit me one day because my mom's getting older. And she has a lot, a lot, a lot of stuff. And she wants a lot of her things to be loved and gone to people who will love them. So I feel very free to ask her for things. Yeah. I feel like she knows I really want it. It's special. So I remember this being on her bed growing up. And then I'm thinking about my red and white room and my <sighs> red and white quilt. And <sighs> this quilt came to mind. And I was like, Oh my God, I went, oh, here, I can sit down now. So I was like, oh my gosh, I wonder if she still has that quilt, which of course I knew she had to have. So I believe that Jenny Holt was my grandmother's mother. Wow. Is my guess. Unfortunately, my dad's side of the family was minuscule. He was an only child. And I think my grandmother was an only child. And my grandfather had a brother who I knew and wife. So tiny, no children. Only my dad was the only child. Yeah. He had no cousins. He had one uncle and aunt. That was it. So anyways, I believe this was my grandmother's mother. It has to be completely done by hand from start to finish. It's in very good shape. It, it looks, looks like it. it's in better shape on camera than it is in real life. There is some yellowing. This is the extent of the damage. Spraying mm -hmm. on the binding. It smells weird. Mm -hmm. So I don't know how to clean it. Is it filled with wool then? Do you it's think? It's so or? thin. It's so it's, thin. It's okay. so th it's beyond thin. Mm -hmm. it it's a cover instead of a, it's a, yeah, like a. Yeah, I would say there's nothing, there's nothing in between. I can almost tell. No, there's nothing in between. So I can see right through. No kidding. So how do I wash it? Do I wash it in the washing machine? I would never, cause I, you know, that red could just bleed. I wonder if you talk to, um, you think the red would bleed? Well, I would, I, uh, I would assume it would bleed. So, okay. I'm going to ask the question that people are going to go, <gasps> but would I bring it to a dry cleaner? <laughs> I don't know. I know. That's what I thought too. I, I, my mind goes to like, I would call Winterthur and <laughs> talk to their textile. That's from 1892. 1892. 130 years old. And it's in phenomenal. That is hey. a gorgeous block pattern, isn't it? I, yeah, there's a name. Pretty, for, I feel like I, I've seen it. I love that. It's beautiful. You could reproduce it so easily. Yeah, I was looking it's like at the square. It's two inch. squares. It's just two big squares. It, and it's three inches. Or blocks. You could do it with English paper piecing. You could no. enlarge it. Maybe yeah. That. But so anyways, how I picture this, and again, people might be horrified to be using it, but I am a believer in using things. Our seasoned quilter out there, let us know how we clean this. Yes. Thanks. I know there's a few out there that I think there's a lot because I'm sure they're hard. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. We don't know. We don't know. And I'm not embarrassed to ask because they don't know. No. So anyways, what I pictured doing is when I have my red and white room is almost having this at the bottom of the bed. Oh, gorgeous. Right? Yes. That would be so pretty folded. Folded. Mm -hmm. Just mm -hmm. like 
around the bottom, maybe over the quilt I make. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I or, love it. Uh, or do you have a mind? chest in front of your bed? You could just fold it nicely on a chest in front of your bed. I could do that. I could. I don't, but I could do that. I have one that used to be there. Don't you feel lucky? Oh, I feel like... And that's really cool. When I saw the date, I almost died. And that she signed it. Yay. Yay, Jenny. With, with, <laughs> and I would not have thought, although my grandmother was, was the person that if I showed her any work, she'd say, I want to look at the back, not the front. Yeah. So very, she was very proper. She was very, like they used to have dinner party. So I'll, I'll just tell this one story because, so she lived in this beautiful home on the main street in our town. And we, and we lived next door for years. So we would go over and visit. She had a porch swing that's right out there mm. um, that we would go. I remember running in my pajamas after my bath and we would go sit on her porch swing. And that house was my heart. Mm -hmm. And I always had dreams that I would live in that house. And do you know, we bought that house. Oh, you did. So that's it's the not house you house. lived in with it's the kids when they were young, young. Yep. And it, we completely redid it. We, everything, because it was very old, but my, it had mitered wood floors. It was the most mm. amazing, amazing house. Mm. And I had dreams about it always, always. Mm -hmm. I had one really wild dream when I lived there. But anyways, we did end up moving in. We ended up redoing the whole house. It was in a terrible part of town. It ended up yeah. being in a terrible part of town, which didn't really bother me, but it was time. My kids were, the yard was minuscule. We had a beautiful yard, beautiful pool. Was, I've, all my happiest memories are from that house. Um, but it was time to give them more space and move to the country and blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. But one dream, we can choose to leave this in or cut it out, but it's pretty fascinating. So I had a dream one night. My grandmother was in the hospital. This is true. My grandmother was in the hospital. She was nearing the end of her life. And I had a dream that, and she had never come to see the house once we bought it. And I understood it. I would say, would you like to come see it? Mm -hmm. Originally, we didn't buy it. We just moved in when she moved to assisted living. Mm -hmm. And I would go see her and say, would, would you like to come see it? And she'd be like, I don't think so. And I totally understood because in her mind, it was her home. It was perfect. And it would no longer look that way. Yeah. Even though we maintained a lot of it or mm -hmm. kept it. So anyways, I had a dream one night that she was sitting on the porch and I, and I think I said, would you like to come in? And she said, yes, I would. She died that night. Yeah. isn't that crazy and it was mm -hmm. one of those dreams that I literally felt was real mm -hmm. and I felt like she chose to come in isn't mm -hmm. that a crazy story mm -hmm. I love that I love that story I think I'm remembering it correctly you know how you like over time it fades a little yeah but oh. so yeah so that house just holds my heart to this day and like this is a piece of it because yeah. her father built that house. She was born in that house. Yeah. Isn't that amazing? So isn't that amazing? Was your mother born in that house then too? My, it was my dad. It was mm. my dad. Or your dad. Father. Okay. Um, I don't think so. Like she was actually born in yeah. that house. Yeah. I don't think he was. But where I was going with this is I found an invitation to a dinner party that she was having. That had the menu on it. This will be served. Oh, cool. Isn't that crazy? Did you frame that? I can't remember where it is. Oh, when you find it, you have to give it to Paige with maybe like a picture I of her know. working in her and kitchen or something. I either know. I found it or she showed it to me because I would go visit with her and she was all about that, like kind of, mm -hmm. like they were in like the higher society. Mm -hmm. And then you look at the house now and it's like, how did it go from that to this? It's crazy. Suburbs. But anyway, so <laughs> wow. did I blow your mind? I, yes, you did. I knew you I would. showed an antique. I, know, I knew I would. A family antique. That was amazing. Ugh. I know. I love it.
Well, speaking of, maybe this will become an antique. How's that? Did I show this last time? I forget. Oh, I don't, I don't remember where I'm at with showing. But this is my latest block from Flea Market Flowers. I, my next block is in its process stage. I've got all the fabric cut out and the you are interfacing, killing. and I just have to sit down and pump that next one out. But, oh, I love that project. I am getting tired of flowers, though. Yeah, <laughs> Everything I, I do that. is flowers lately. But you are killing that project, and she's got some amazing things. Oh, my gosh. Like. She has huge amazing things those fabric lines that are coming out darn it and then i uh, speaking of fabric lines i saw kitten stitcher sent out last night a pre-order for the um the uh blackbird designs fabric coming out in february 2022 and she wants a pre-order by august is this new yes it was Art, uh, i mean a, have they been producing fabric all along? They have. I don't know if they took a little break and then okay. they had another fabric line well, come out. It's I shouldn't say that. I know back in the day they did, yep. but I didn't think they, they had been currently. Me, I don't know if they just started back up. Yeah. What, but it's a Blackbird fabric line. But Are we going to have to get it? I might. Uh, it, <laughs> The one that I really want I is I love this. how we don't even finish what we're saying. <laughs> like somebody's forcing us to <laughs> get a fabric line. Oh, my God. <laughs> but anyways, that was exciting. I, um, speaking to a fabric, I, I, I really am choosy. It's hard to believe, but I... I mean, oh, I don't want are. to buy a bunch of fabric just to sit here. I want plans for it. But then this popped up, and it's Eric Carl. It's the Very Hungry Caterpillar. Oh, he just died. I know. So it's the Very Hungry Caterpillar in the Garden Fat Quarter bundle from the Fat Quarter Shop. And I mean, I can what just see me like it? giving a book with a cute little blanket to my grandchild someday. So <laughs> get started now. I'm just warning you. Just get started now. I should. I should. I, mean, I vowed I was going to and I didn't. Maybe I could like knit the caterpillar and make the blanket and give the book or, you know what I'm saying? Like the girl needed this. So gorgeous. I don't have any grandchildren. I, I will give it to great grand nephews or nieces. I don't know. You will. You'll, there's always someone. There's always somebody. Oh, so that was fat quarter shop again. Yes. Oh my goodness. That was Fat Carter Shark. And I showed the last time my layer cake of the kitty corn collection, which is, oh. it's a fall collection. I I was like, why am I not getting the panel that goes with it? So I got the panel as well, which is. But you know what? You should. You're quilting up a storm. Well, yeah. I hope to get to that at some point. Well, it is also, I remember for me summer is so hard so hard you have all these expectations of everything you've got all this time no you, honestly, don't, you have less time well i don't but you do because you still have kids at home and i mean i have less time just because i want to enjoy the summer a little yeah the gardening outdoor yeah. stuff vacations yeah, you have, that we have you have two boys now and you're in college well, we're looking at colleges for next year. Alex is a senior and George will be a fresh uh, sophomore. Wow. I this don't year. envy you. It's Although, fun, but I'm sad. You have very studious children who yes. probably, I had to do a lot of pushing <laughs> and it wasn't worth it. <laughs> nope. I don't they have to do They all end pushing. up where they belong. Yeah, exactly. That's, I'm looking at it that way. So yeah. We're that we're doing a little bit of that college touring now uh, next starting next week we'll be on a little trip out east so so it begins <sighs> anyway okay can we jump to punch yes i have nothing i just decided oh, to I do this love that. <laughs> you sent it to me i love it oh did i did i show you so... the, it's on the hook I didn't just a hook, but I saw I the rest. I picked this up from Hobby Lobby. It's a cheap little wooden hook hanger thing. It's perfect. And I'm just going to hang it in my room here. Hmm. Use it's it to perfect. hang things. And so we're going with this. This is from Punch Needle Primitive Stitcher Spring Issue. Because you know what I see hanging from that? Your floss rings. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Thank you. 
I knew it's it was beautiful. something. You're right. I hang my floss rings when I'm done with projects and eventually I'm going to organize them. <laughs> that is a great idea. Yeah. I'm doing I love that. It. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. So then I don't know how far along I was three weeks ago on my latest punch needle, which is going to be an offering or it is an offering. No. I got one. Yep. Sue got one. I have to keep track of your show. I love this. So this is a really fun project from the old tattered What flag. are you going to do with that? It is called, I don't know. I can, what is it? I am looking backwards. I got you, my pretty. I love okay. this. You know what I want to do with that? What? what do you I want to put it on a piece of wool mm -hmm. and make a penny mm -hmm. around it. So maybe put it on a piece. What's the background color? The background color is just a, a creamy oh. mottled. I feel like I want to put it on either a deep, rich. No, I want to put it on black. That's the background. So uh -huh. I'm using all Veldani. This um, particular pattern, they call for two of the, um, do you call them floss or do you call them threads when you punch needle? Well, those aren't really floss, the Veldani. Isn't it pearl cotton or is it floss? Well, I know Veldani has pearl cotton. I don't know what they call it. What I is the look. one you're using? Well, I'm using, there is some, there's, um, see the, the Veldani pearl cotton, um, you hold double to mimic six strands of DMC. Whereas the other stuff they offer, which is, under their P, I had to learn all this stuff. It has three strands. So you hold two balls oh. together to get the six strands. And you just go, you don't have to cut. You just, it's so nice. I it's remember so nice. doing that. Yeah. So I, what I've done is I've kitted up the, the Veldani, all Veldani from Canada. It's kind of hard to get as a shop. So I'm really happy that I have a person now and, and I have all of them kitted mm. up. I'm waiting on more from the old tattered flag of the pattern. And I love the pattern that it's already marked up for you. You don't have to stand in front of a window and trace. It's already marked. Um, and I'm including in there a little helper sheet, how, what the pattern called for, what Veldani you used, because it's, it's kind of my version of the colors. Um, oh, I cannot wait. Yeah. So that kid isn't, I have one full kit in there right now and hopefully in the next week then i'll have more than one a lot more than yeah one. this oh, is a bigger God. punch it ends up the finished size is six by 12 and a half inches um so i am using my rug hooking um frame Thanks. but you can use a large like a 16 or a even a 12 inch um morgan hoop frame works mm -hmm. I've seen people like I, I've heard from some punch designers that say you need to find a hoop that the whole project can fit into. But then I've seen people use a small hook and punch and move their project. So I'm curious if some of you have done it that way as well. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. It just needs to I'll be use my rug hooking one. Can I tell you, I'm dying a hook. It's like I got my hook out. <sighs> I'm done. Yeah, and I actually, have one. I want to go in the middle of my yard, sit in the sun and hook. That's my dream. With the wool strips hooking. Wool right and there. I have the, my kit is wool and yarn combo. Mm. I'm oh. definitely more of a wool strip hooker, mm -hmm. but I'm really enjoying the yarn. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. I'll and bring that next combo. time. I feel like oh. I keep saying that and I keep forgetting. I also, when I was at Hobby Lobby, I picked this little stand up. Ooh. It says kiss the cook, but I, um, I don't know. I kind of feel like you could finish, you know, one of these and just stand it up. It'd be so cute. Anything like for Christmas or whatever. Yep. There's a ton of these at Hobby Lobby right now for I'm half off. There. Yeah. So I picked one of those up to try that out on a small and see how that works. I am finding our stores 
all of our stores are very limited in what they offer. You know what though? Hobby Lobby, uh, we have two Hobby Lobbies within distance of my house. They're packed this week. And they and the people, the store people are bringing out more stuff. So maybe it's a buzz. Yeah. I think that all of a sudden they got everything because just two weeks ago I went Nothing. and I was like, this is sad. There were empty Same. aisles. Same. Joanne Fabrics is very much like oh, that. I it don't is know here too. Stores. But even like Kohl's, like. Mm -hmm. Check out Hobby Lobby now because I think they really filled up their fall. Maybe like in the they, last week. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, wow, there is so much new stuff. And, and it, there were no empty aisles. Yeah, I know. Sorry, I'm making you go to Hobby it's Lobby okay. now. It's okay. It's okay. Oh, gosh. Okay, anything else? Punch? I think. I do have one little fun project that Michelle, oh, okay. farm girl loves goats. I've got to pull out. I've got this whole box full of wool applique that I've got to pull out. Do she had a very fun announcement on her Patreon that she's starting her own shop and I'm so lots excited. of wool applique, and it sounds like she'll get into like some cross stitch stuff too. Mm -hmm. Probably whatever she's working on, she might load into her shop. I feel like wool applique is calling my name. Oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, I have a, I, you know, I get that um, primitive gatherings wool kit every six or three months, something like that. I've showed that before on, on I here and I haven't it. done any of them. I mean, it's more of a winter thing for me with touching all the wool. I, I used to do a lot of it and I loved it. Loved it. It's fast. Yeah. It's fast. It really, um, just gotta see, I just got a text, sorry. I mean, it can be as fast as you want to make it, or it can be as long as you want to make it if you want to get detailed in your stitching, right? Like Sue Spargo stuff. Oh, did I tell That's, you Sue Spargo used to be a customer of mine? Isn't that funny? Wow. Oh. Yeah, she's in Ohio now, so I'm feeling like I need to take a trip down there at some point and learn how to do some of that. So we oh should meet God. there. I would in a minute. She's so talented. Mm -hmm. She was, when she was a customer of ours, she lived like the next town over and I think she took like stitching classes. She was so interesting then. I remember loving when she came in mm -hmm. because we would chat all the time and she was Amazing. raised in South Africa, I she, believe. Yes, I think you're right. And yeah. she said her education was stitching, like that was part of their curriculum was stitching and she was so talented. Her Sunday post is my favorite on Instagram. Does she, does she still do a Sunday? She post? does this Sunday, she just Sunday morning stitching or something. It's just a post, that's all it is, but it's so beautiful, mm. so beautiful. Yeah, that'd be fun to take a class down there at some point. Yeah, sure. Definitely. Well, Michelle, did a tutorial on refurbishing an old vintage train case yes. into oh um, my gosh yeah into a retreat box or a retreat uh, what do you call it a retreat box box i don't know <laughs> <laughs> I know what and, you mean. And I, I grew up when, when, in my family, all the grandkids, when they graduated from eighth grade, my grandparents would buy them a set of luggage. And it was always a Samsonite set with the big case, the medium case, the train case. And I don't know what happened to that set. I no longer have it. But my train case was from the 70s and kind of had a different design. And I really wanted... Um, one of the train cases from like the fifties or early. I 60s. now have to ask my mother if she has a train case. Yeah. And so I went on eBay and, you know, I saw some train cases. They were in like the 30 to $50 range selling these, the style that I was looking for. And I was like, oh, I feel bad. Like pulling apart a case that looks good already. Does that make sense? I don't know. Yeah. So all of a sudden one popped up that was like $7. <laughs> I was like, oh, seven dollars. Um, yeah, and so I looked at the pictures, 
And what sold me, first off, it has all these goofy um, college Aww. stickers, but I like them. They're classic. But here's Petoskey, <laughs> Michigan on there. And I was like, well, that's cool. What's on the other side? Oh, my gosh. My alma mater. And oh. it's the old st old style Block M, and it's got the Follett name on the bottom, which that was the bookstore, Follett's in Ann Arbor. So I was like, well, this is meant to be. So I got it for seven bucks. It's um, It's got the old the old sign on the old uh, badge on here samsonite it's got their colorado address and some other and brothers it looks like it cleaned up i was watching well, the video i feel so like we haven't chatted that much so i'm watching this video going i know nothing it's so exciting <laughs> this is fully cleaned maybe i'll insert the video in here of when i was scrubbing it down because when it arrived it was brown it looks dirty. So you, I know you used the toothbrush. What were you using for yeah. the, did I miss I, the part? I um, ended up, what worked the best was Norwex paste. It's a gritty cleaning paste. Uh, and I put, I dipped my toothbrush in it with a little warm water and I just did each piece, each side by side. I was kind of hoping some of the stickers I don't really want would come off, but they didn't. My gosh, they made stickers well in the back of the day. I wonder, you know that whole Tide ammonia, Tide bleach and water that the Go Clean company uses in Canada? I wonder what that would do. I don't know, but this gritty paste really helped get the grime off um, it. That was, It was kind of greasy, grimy. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so I was, I was thrilled. I knew I wanted this color, and I could tell it was the ivory... Uh, marble. Marbled ivory was the name of this it's style. Beautiful. Yeah, so I ripped out all the interior. And I have been having fun. I'll show you where I'm at right now with my little case. I decided to go all Lori Holt. Oh. <laughs> and I found some um, uh, cording from an old, like 20 years ago, I did some curtains and I used this cording. It matched perfectly, so it hit all the edges and I in the inside now I've got a lot of ideas for what I want to do on the inside stuck there in the bottom but I just used this Lori Holt blue I kind of wanted it not so busy because I'll be putting stuff in it and it just feels better on my brain to not have a busy pa pattern I made a this is an elastic pocket for it but that's you know the bottom oh and I decided to quilt it instead of using you know cardboard and wrapping the fabric around the cardboard cardboard I thought I want it to be kind of soft so I used Annie's soft and stable and I quilted the top and the bottom so it's kind of fancy Rachel. isn't that cool so oh, some of the other ideas I have for it is to put some sort of magnetic thing here for maybe scissors and maybe a little needle mind or something yeah I don't know I have this other houndstooth fabric that I think would look really nice with the whole thing yeah um yeah and then in her videos in Michelle's videos she made some fabric baskets this is the Annie soft and stable by the way it's a double I have the double-sided sticky version which mm -hmm. was really made it easy to wrap the fabric around um I have this tape that's measurement tape that I don't know that might be kind of fun I also have it's so fun to just use your scraps, but I thought maybe this um, this would look cute somewhere on it. I don't know. Yeah. I even have this old handle from an old purse that I might put instead of this hard handle. I might put this on here because the handle on it is not the best. I like the hard handle though. I do too, but it's kind of it's I don't know. Maybe I can find an old hard handle. So much fun. Yeah, the nail is coming out of it. Uh, yeah, the handle needs some work. But talk about a fun project. So rewarding. So fun. Yeah. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. <laughs> I, I Now I have to ask my mother if she's got one. What's it called again? This is uh, the Samsonite train case. Vintage. Train case. Yeah, this is the train case. I feel like I remember something, but it was smaller than that, I thought. Well, this, it looks big in the picture, but... Is it's it not, not that big. It's really actually small. I don't know. Yeah. I gotta put it up to my head. Hers was yeah. blue, I think. Yeah, there's a blue version. Gosh, I love the, the brassy. I, love I don't have the key to mine, which is fine. 
Oh my god! Super gosh, fun. It's super it. fun, and it's clean, and it doesn't stink anymore. And I love. I, I kind of want to make another one. I had so much fun doing it. Yeah, it, they look. They just look like because they're so usable, right? Well, yeah. Like I would think you could really use that for things. Well, and the size of it, I feel like it would be perfect for a featherweight. Oh. Like if you didn't get a case with your featherweight, yeah. <laughs> like you. <laughs> yeah. How fun! Oh my gosh! Yeah. Yeah, so I've been busy just doing a lot of variety, I think, it's right? I'm, yeah. I am dying, though, to really get going on my stitching, especially my October smalls. And I want to get back to my modern folk embroidery. I, oh, and my Same. anniversaries of the heart. I want to Same. get back I was that. thinking that the other day. I know, I'm finding that my brain is scattered and I can't settle into a project. Yeah. And I feel like it's just like almost just let it be and like to regroup and then instead mm -hmm. of keep looking, 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 it's like, mm -hmm. yeah, 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 I, yeah, <laughs> I'm just going to go with it. It's all, it's all here at my fingertips whenever I'm motivated to get going on it. But I kind of don't want to start any other hobbies new. <laughs> I know. That's quite... See, that's... That's my problem. When I can't settle into anything, I tend to start new. Mm -hmm. And then I, then that just adds to the, Oh, I'm dying to get my loom going. I want to, I really want to weave some fall table runners and some fall yeah. towels for my kitchen washcloths. I love the stuff that I've woven already down there. I just need some new colors and I know I've never gotten into weaving, but spinning is calling my name again mm -hmm. and rug hooking is calling my name. Yeah. And I'm time. knitting like crazy again. So yeah. What fun. I, I know. These hobbies are so fun. That is the thing. It's like, I can't imagine not having it. I can't like, even when I get overwhelmed with it, I think it's okay. Just take a breath, mm -hmm. do something else. Yeah. I know, like this little train case, something new learning and it's working out and it's looking good. That is such a boost that you just feel so happy about it. At least I do. I know. I think my problem is, and that's probably why I'm a sock knitter, is most things I take on are very large. Yeah. Very large. So, and I've been knitting socks like crazy. Like I have all new socks for next year. I just put all my other ones in Goodwill. Is that really weird? No. I was just like, you know what? I've been wearing these for years. They're in good shape, yeah. but I want all new. Yeah. So I knit all Let new ones. Let somebody else enjoy year. them. Yeah. 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 So. Brian's wanting more socks. I love that he loves to wear my socks, but I need what? to make them on the knitting machine. I need to get going on that knitting machine. Oh, I know. <laughs> so many things I want to do. I know, but that's <sighs> why I think I look forward to the fall because the fall, like a new schedule sets in mm -hmm. and it's always like very renewing for me. It's like the brand new year almost yep. where it's always. like, oh, it's, it's cooler. So you don't feel like you should be outside and mm -hmm. yeah. Good. And Percy's not a puppy anymore and he's a lot easier than he was early on. Winnie. We haven't had a puppy update in a while. Winnie has oh, yeah. been through her first heat and we were questioning whether or not she was going through a false pregnancy yeah. because her body seemed like it was, but hmm. she's settling back in. So she will be fixed in September. They're saying that would be a good time. And I'm curious what that will look like. She's still very much a puppy and very precocious and yeah. fun. Yeah. yeah. But she does have more times of being very settled and loving yeah. and yes. That's yeah. where we're at now all of a sudden. It's more times of those. And now I'm like, is he getting enough exercise? Oh, He's just same. laying around all the time. <laughs> same because of the heat that kind of slowed her down. The, the heat and the heat uh -huh. the combination <laughs> really, really affected her. So I'm thinking the same thing. Plus the amount of rain we've gotten, our ground is water. I'm not kidding. Oh, Can't even yeah. mow the lawn. So she's very like, doesn't love that. Mm -hmm. But the exciting part is she's tiny and she's full grown. Oh, good. 
I think she's full. You like her size. Yes. She's like probably 55 to 60 pounds, which. That's what you wanted, right? Teeny, teeny, minuscule, minuscule. Yeah. For us. For you. So, <laughs> so that feels really good too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good. What are you all working on out there? We'd love to hear what you're up to this summer. What um, What's floating your boat creatively, for sure. Let us know yeah. down below. Well, I think we've reached we the did. end, Sue. We that was a lot. I know. It felt like long, but it's because Paige popped in too. So we'll get her up here. And yeah, so thrilled that everyone got to meet her. And we have a winner that we're so excited for. Please, if... if you're out there KT or if any of you know KT let her know let her know sure. yeah it's exciting and um yeah I think I'll be gone in two weeks so we might be tossing in three weeks again in three weeks again I feel like that's good for the summer yeah it works. yeah it works and we have a lot to show you guys I know I'm hoping next time I've got more stitching but if I do I do if I don't I don't Hey, if you are not yet subscribed, will you hit the subscribe button? That would be fabulous. Maybe like us too. That would be great. And yeah. leave us a comment. Let us know again what you're working on. Um, we just love to connect with you guys. So, Do you know how many Thank times you. I watch videos like for a year and realize I never subscribe? Yes, I do that I too. That a lot. Yeah. It's not intentional. I just figure I already have. Yeah. And then I'll and look up every once in a while and go, I didn't subscribe. You know. <laughs> I know. Exactly. It does make a difference. Yes. Yeah. And if you know of any um, new floss tubes out there that you're really enjoying, will you shoot them down below too? I love to shout out new floss tubers. Mm -hmm. And find new floss tubers. And find new ones. Yeah. Oh, it's so fun. All right. Well, thanks for joining us, everyone. We'll see you on the next episode. We'll be here. All right. Bye. Happy Bye stitching. Guys. Happy stitching. Bye. Bye.